Hello, folks, and welcome to another episode of Is It Any Good? Uh, today, I got another bag of potato chips here for us, or crisps, if you prefer. They are hard bite, sweet ghost pepper chips. Uh, I got these from, uh, I think, Sprouts uh, for a couple of bucks. And I thought, you know, we've tried a few different other uh, hot pepper, ghost pepper type things uh, that uh, we have met with varying success and varying degrees of heat, too. Uh, some of them are just a bit on the spicy side and at least one occasion tried to kill us outright. Um, these seem like they might be pretty good. They've got that sort of like heavier looking potato chip uh, look about them that uh, kettle cook, that, that thicker cut that's nice, not your thin, sad, slivery lace potato chips that we run into often. Um, but you know what? We won't know until we get into this bag. Let's do this. All right, well, got into this bag. Had to get a pair of scissors because it didn't want to tear. And uh, on first smell, it has almost a, like a woodsy sort of smell. Not, I don't know, nothing spicy, nothing potato chip even. Kind of, almost kind of like pencils, like pencil shavings or something. Not quite, but closer to that. Closer to what potentially is death awaiting us here ghost peppers. But maybe that's it. Maybe, I mean, does a ghost have a smell? I don't think it does. I don't know. So maybe that's the trick with a ghost pepper. There's no smell. That's how it gets you. Gets you into thinking, oh, this, this can't be so bad. And then you get, then it's too late. It's too late. You're gone. You're done. Let's find out, though, what kind of heat these things bring. As you can see, I've crunched into a few of these. One rather messily. Uh, first impressions, sweet. Uh, what do we got on the ingredients here? Nothing specifically. Oh, there is cane sugar in here. So there's where that sweetness is coming from. But we're also supposed to be looking for ghost pepper. I gotta say, I do like the texture of these. They're a thicker chip, which is good. They've got a solid crunch on them. And I do get that salty sort of, that salty sweet flavoring in there with that cane sugar. There's salt in here. And there is very, very tiny bit of heat creeping around in there. But not a lot. Certainly not what you would think of ghost pepper. And the more I put into my snack hole, I'm not getting any more heat. I'm not getting the pricklies. I'm not getting the that heat buildup. It's not catching in my throat. It's not, not really doing much of anything. I think I'm ready to render a verdict here. All right. Well, I feel we tried a fair amount of these chips. And uh, there's definitely, again, that, that sweet... Uh, sweet and saltiness that is quite pleasant. Uh, that that little bit of salt, that little bit of sweet. Uh, it's a it's a good mix, and it's also on a good uh, thick cut of potato chip, which is which is great. I prefer it, that thicker kettle cut sort of thing. Those paper thin Lay's chips. I don't know why anyone likes these. Um, I don't know if the avocado oil has something to do with it, but they are not terribly greasy either, which is nice. Again, as a potato chip goes, all these things are great qualities. However, one quality it was definitely missing was the heat. Sweet ghost pepper is not uh, correctly named here. Sweet and salty? Sure, that would have been a perfect way to market these chips. and Get rid of this, these chili peppers here and there. Because at no point did I feel that they were spicy, any sort of real heat going. And... Even though I kept eating more of these, nothing was building, nothing was coming. Even now, there's no heat uh, lingering behind. They didn't taste bad. They just didn't taste as advertised. So, do I think these are any good? I bet you might be able to guess.
No, these are not. Specifically because they are not as packaged. Uh, maybe Hard Bite makes some different uh, flavors that might be good. I, I'll have to go back and look and see what I can find. Uh, again, I got these at Sprouts for a couple of bucks, so I'll see what else they have if they've got some sort of other flavor that seems good. Uh, because again, the quality of the chip itself, I like. I like that, and I can recommend this type of chip, but just not, not Sweet Ghost Pepper. No. Well, that's going to be it for me. I will, uh, I will see all of you back here next time.